This is a tutorial about Twisted Lemon Sidekick 4 Sidechain Compressor VST effect. Sidekick 4 can work in three different ways. It can work as a sidechaining compressor and it has two modes for that, a ducking mode and a king mode. You can see it here. And it can also work as a standard compressor. First I'll show you how to use Sidekick 4 as a sidechaining compressor. I have prepared a simple 4x4 drum bit uh, which I'm going to play now. And I separated the bass drum to an individual mixed channel because I'm going to use the bass drum as a key to compress this synth sound. Okay, so I already loaded an instance of Sidekick to the bass drum uh, channel and I can turn it off because I, I don't want to compress the bass drum but you see even when it's off the signal is sent to the send bus you can choose one out of 32 buses either for sending and for receiving so I'll leave it to number one as it was to do the actual side, side chaining compressing I need to load another instance of a uh, sidekick, this time uh, to this synth sound that's going to be compressed. You can hear the effect instantly. That's because uh, every new instance of sidekick has the receive bus uh, number one as default, while the send bus is always the next available send bus. And uh, since we have the send bus sent number one on the kick channel, and uh, the receive bus on the synth channel is number one, this key is used to compress this synth sound. We have all the standard compressor controls here to, to control the effect. So by setting the lower threshold level, you can pronounce the effect and with drive you can make it louder it's actually soft saturated output and that's it, you, you don't have to do anything else just need to take care of uh, to set the correct uh, receive and send bus so the, the other mode for side chaining is the keying mode it actually reverses the effect so now you can hear the synth only when you have the bass drum and this is useful for the so-called uh, gating effect and I will show you how to use this right now I prepared a percussive sound here with a sequence it's muted sorry so this is the sequence that I want to use as, as a gating sequence and I want to sequence this sound so I need to insert one instance of sidekick to the percussive sound I can turn it off, doesn't matter and another instance of sidekick to the synth sound so you already hear some uh, side chaining effects on compressing effect but it's, that's not what I want I want this sound to compress this one so I need to set the correct receive channel here we have the send bus number 3 so I need to set the receive channel number 3 here and I switch to king mode okay this is about what I wanted to sound I don't need this percussive sound in the mix, so I will just mute its channel. And because uh, Sidekick is inserted uh, before those controls, this doesn't have any effect, you still hear the, the gating. And I'll play with a bit. And that's it, you have your side chaining on two cents. This is one. And this is two. So 
So this is without side kick, just straight sustained sounds. And here you have your gating effect, your side chaining compressor. So here I have another sound. It's a vocal sample. Let me play it. You oughta stop me, yo bragging. You oughta stop me, yo bragging. And uh, I have it here because I want to show that you can use one instance of Sidekick to compress several other inst instances of Sidekick. Actually, there is no limit. So I will load another Sidekick here. And always remember to set the correct receiving channel. So I will open this one to check what is the send channel. So it's number three, the bus, sorry, not the channel. I'll set this one to three and switch to king mode. And here is what we have. So it's both of this uh, sounds are controlled with this sequence. And that's it, it's very it's very simple to set up. You only need to take care of the send and uh, the receive buses. So now I'll show you how to use Sidekick as a regular compressor. Let's use this instance. Uh, you can uh, do it in two different ways. You can set the same send bus and uh, the receive bus to the same channel. So uh, this instance will actually uh, compress its own sound. But uh, I prefer to do it this way, to set the send bus to off and the receiving bus to self, because you'll most likely have more than one instance of Sidekick in your project. And you want to be sure that this uh, signal that's going into this instance of Sidekick is not going to affect any other instance of Sidekick. So you just set the send bus to off. And since this is set to self, it's, it's like a regular compressor now. And you have all your standard compressor controls. You have very informative meters. This is the input meter. This is the output meter. This is the meter that shows how much compression there is actually. And I already told you about this one. This is the send meter. And that's it. Very, very simple to use. Your host doesn't even need to uh, support side chaining. It can work in any VST host. It, it can work in uh, uh, video editing programs which support VST and it's very useful there if you want your background music and background sounds to go down in level when you have the voiceover uh, to keep the clear voice throughout the, the movie or whatever you're doing. So you can download the demo of Sidekick 4 at www.twistedlemon.nl and if you like it, you will like the price even more. Thank you for watching this short tutorial.